Oh, these darn climbing spikes. Oh, I can't get the hooks to catch in the tree. Jump a troll fat, grab a branch, anything, David. Oh, he's a goner for sure. I can't look. Oh. Oh. Leaping lariats. You're one lucky gnome, David. I'm a doctor, not a tree surgeon. What am I doing up here? Wow, can you climb a tree with those? Huh? Uh, yeah, they're really worn out. I left my other pair at home so Lisa could mend them. Well, I'm not talking about your boots. Look at your climbing hooks. They're all bent out of shape. Gosh, you're right. I just hope they'll get me down from here. Let's go. After you, David. Yeah. Thank you, Henry. You're very polite. <laughs> well, I'm not being polite. I just don't want to get knocked off the tree if he falls again. <laughs> I'd never make it. That was quite a climb. I guess you'll remember that one for a while, huh, David? Yeah, I have bruises that won't forget. What are you doing? Why are you changing your boots, Henry? Because these boots with the climbers on them are uncomfortable for walking. And besides, they leave a very clear trail for anyone to follow. You're right, Henry. You don't want trolls following you. Exactly. I don't take any chances. And I live in a sandy area where footprints really show up. Well, sure, it's hard to cover up your tracks in sand. But here in the forest, there's no problem. As long as you're always walking on dry leaves and pine needles. Oh, I'd hate to walk on pine needles with those boots. Huh? Oh, how embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, goodbye, Henry. Goodbye, David. See you soon. Bye. problem. When we went to Siberia that time, he wore out a pair of boots, two pair on the way through Sweden to get to Norway, and another pair on the trip to Finland. Lisa, I'm back. How was your tree climbing expedition? Huh? Oh, wonderful view, and it was uh, very exciting. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself, dear. Mm. How about you, Lisa? What are you doing? For you, I'd be in my bare feet. You're worse than a boy of 50. I don't know what you do to wear out a pair of boots so fast. <laughs> you make me feel guilty. But you're right. I wear out boots so fast, you can't keep up with me. Pretty soon, I won't be able to go out of the house. Even Henry was laughing at the way my toes stick out. Maybe if I rode on Swift all the time, my boots would last longer. Oh, say, there was a message from the king. He wants to see you as soon as possible. Hmm. What are you doing down there? Leave my toes alone. Was there more to the message? What does he want me for? Get away from there. No, the only other thing he said is that he wants me to go with you. <laughs> oh, that tickles. Get away from me, scat. Right on the head. Oh, it'll be wonderful to go on a trip with you and get away from these mice. And there's nothing I'd rather do than go on a trip with you. And the first thing you're going to need is a new pair of boots to wear. Oh, Lisa, you are the most wonderful wife a man ever had. Hmm. <laughs> 
So King Conrad is right behind that waterfall. Ah, oh, what a marvel. Perfectly protected behind that beautiful waterfall. Bend down, Swift. Conrad's palace is just behind the falls, you know. Yes, I can see something through the water. Oh, that's King Conrad's throne room. But it must be very dangerous going through that falling water. Exactly. You have to know the secret entrance to get in. There's the king's messenger, Swan. Swan, thanks for coming to get us. Uh. Hello, Swan. I guess the king sent you to carry us over to the entrance. But David, we'll get all wet over there. No, we won't, dear. Just wait and see. Uh huh? Uh. The Swan does this often, and he's thought of everything. Uh. Thank you. There, Lisa. We're all set to go. Very becoming. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. Enjoyed the flight. Uh, 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 Thanks, Swan. As a shuttle service, you're the greatest. Bye. 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 What do we do now? All we have to do is lift that cover and go down the stairs. Mm -hmm. You mean the entrance to the palace is down there? Mm -hmm. I told you it was a secret entrance. We have to walk down there. Those stairs don't look very safe to me. <laughs> They're safe, all right, Lisa. The stairs will take us to the other side of the waterfall. Well, if that's the only way to get there. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, give me your hand, dear. Yes. Steps may be slippery. I'm scared. already met my wife, haven't you? <laughs> of course I have. Your wife is a joy to behold, if I may make so bold. <laughs> and now walk this way, please. <laughs> please enter. <laughs> Majesty. 
I am pleased to welcome you to my kingdom, David and Lisa. And we are honored to be here, Your Majesty. Look, David, you can see the water, but you can't hear it. Please, dear, don't act like a hick in front of the king. So I'm not supposed to talk? Dear friends, David and Lisa, I suppose you have heard of the famous Shadowless Stone. Of course, Your Majesty. Every gnome knows about the Shadowless Stone. It's a smooth block of stone on which our ancestors engraved the laws that still govern us today. It's a national treasure. We gnomes are very proud to have a kingdom of our own thanks to the Twelve Commandments written on the Shadowless Stone. <laughs> that stone has meaning for our subjects. It's our most valued treasure. And now that treasure has disappeared. Hmm. You mean it really disappeared like poof? No! The trolls took it! Oh. 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 The leader is the troll they call Hala. He has taken the stone to a cave under my former palace of Mintoa. Mintoa? Where's that? Mintoa is an island we inhabited many centuries ago before I moved to this palace, a much better location. Mintoa is dreary, but you'll have to go there to get the stone. Should be a piece of cake, King. I've dealt with those trolls before. <laughs> it's not so easy to get there, my lad. It's creepy and crawly and ever so bad. There's underground tunnels, I'm telling you true. You have to have earth gnomes to help you get through. <laughs> You won't even see the Earth Gnomes, but they'll be looking after you all the way to the Door of Good Intentions. You must find a way to get through the Door of Good Intentions so you can climb the thousand steps. Did you say a thousand steps? Oh, Lisa, that's not so many. Well, good luck, David, and put your trust in Lisa. She has the answer you'll need. Goodbye. No need to shout this way out. Goodbye, Goodbye King. King. We'll, we'll see, see you, you soon. soon. Please bring us back the Shadowless Stone. So Come on. on. Just have to jump. It's all right. You're kidding. <laughs> the Earth Gnomes are true. They'll rescue you. <laughs> I think Tim's right. Just don't think about it. Let's jump. bubble was sent by the Earth Gnomes to bring us down safely. Hmm. Oh, look, there's a boat waiting for us. Let's go. No wonder the king moved his castle. This is creepy. We're in the depths of the Earth, Lisa. These subterranean tunnels and lakes will take us to Mintoa without the trolls seeing us. It's the only way. Look. <gasps> I 
can't open it. You miserable door. Drat. Oh. Give it another try. Come on. It's useless. I can't open it. How did you do that? I've been scared the whole time down here. But if you're discouraged, it's up to me to be strong. So I just did it. Oh, I guess what it takes is determination or something like that. <laughs> the feminine touch. Let's go on. Oh, no. The thousand steps. A thousand? Yes. Come Let's on. Let's go. Strength, Lisa. Now, door open. Huh? Huh? Lisa, you did that, didn't you? I just thought about not being afraid when we're together. I don't even mind going up a thousand steps as long as I'm with you, honey. So that means the door can only be opened by a loving heart. The king was right to send you with me. More steps, I see. Oh, well, come on. I know we can do oh. it. door, we'll find the shadowless stone. I keep worrying about those trolls. What if Holler is in there protecting the stone? Let's cross that bridge when we come to it. We've got to go in there, no matter what. <gasps> that's the shadowless stone. It's always surrounded by its own pure light, and that's why it never casts a shadow, you see. Let's get it and get out of here fast as we can. Intentions. It takes a loving heart. You're right. <laughs> we can find our way back in peace. <laughs> Won't King Conrad be glad to get his stone back?
Thank you, David and Lisa. Every gnome in the kingdom will forever be grateful to you. <laughs> and don't forget, you're entitled to a reward. What would you like? Oh, no, we don't want anything at all. There's something I'd like, Your Majesty. What are you saying? We have everything we need, Lisa. I hope you don't think it's impertinent of me to ask, Your Majesty. I'll grant you anything. Uh, I'd like a pair of indestructible boots for David. <laughs> huh? Oh, oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> 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 March, let's fight! Join us next time for another exciting adventure. David and Lisa stay safe during a thunderstorm, but a friend of theirs is not so lucky. A cruel man traps a poor bird and locks them in a cage in his pet shop. Will David be able to free him and the other wild birds who are being mistreated? Will David save himself from the cruel man? Watch for friends in trouble. <laughs>